Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugrana Everything and welcome back to the channel and at long last guys, Barcelona have returned to their trophy winning ways. In what was a very one-sided encounter which is far from what I was expecting to be honest, La Blaugrana took total control of the match at the Stadio de la Catuja and dominated Athletic Bilbao to win a record 31st Copa del Rey title. So, in this video, I'll quickly look at how the teams lined up, then I'll talk about Barcelona's performance on the night, and I'll discuss my negatives and positives from the game, as well as pick the man of the match. A quick reminder to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video, so you can stay up to date with all the coverage of all things Barcelona on this channel. Let's go ahead and look at how the two teams set up. Bilbao set up as we expected in their favoured 4-4-2 formation with the following players. In goal, Unai Simon, a back four of Balenciaga, Inigo Martinez, Yere Alvarez and Oscar De Marcos, with a midfield four of Berenguer, Unai Lopez, Danny Garcia and Ika Munyain, and up front Raul Garcia and Iñaki Williams. Barcelona on the other hand set up with a 3-5-2 formation with Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goals, a back three of Longley, Piquet and Menguesa, with Alba and Dest in the fullback areas, a midfield three of Busquets, De Jong and Pedri, and Messi and Griezmann up front. Let's now briefly look at how Barcelona performed in this game. The entirety of the first half was dominated by Barca as Bilbao looked to sit deep and soak up pressure whilst also trying to hit Barcelona on the break using the pace of Iñaki Williams. Barcelona started out looking very sharp in the final third though and it didn't take long for them to get their first opportunity as Messi and Busquets linked up to set up Frankie de Jong whose first time shot hit Unai Simon's right hand upright. It was very much a warning from Barcelona and they continued to probe for ways through the Bilbao defense for the remainder of the first half but apart from one save from Unai Simon, Barcelona's possession lacked real penetration. Bilbao though came close to scoring from a free kick but Inigo Martinez couldn't connect with a Berengue delivery and at the end of the first half there was nothing doing going either way and so the halftime score was nil nil. The second half was then soon underway and boy did the game explode into life during that second half. Barcelona began by forcing three top shelf saves from Onai Simon. In my video here talking about the key battles for this encounter, I pointed out that Unai Simon and Marc-Andre Ter Stegen are among some of the best goalkeepers in Europe and Simon must be a subscriber who watched that video because he was trying his best to prove me right. But fortunately for me, Unai Simon was not the only player who was in this match that watched that video because I also mentioned in that video that there is a certain man who loves scoring against Bilbao and he couldn't help but prove me right as on the hour mark Antoine Griezmann finally opened the scoring. Fun fact, since joining Barca, no one has scored more opening goals for Barcelona than Antoine Griezmann. What came afterwards was simply a case of when it rains it pours as Barcelona scored 3 more goals in the next 12 minutes. First up Frankie de Jong who had assisted Griezmann doubled Barcelona's lead with a diving header off of a Jordi Alba cross. Bilbao then started to look shaken and as they say cometh the hour cometh the man and that man was of course captain Lionel Messi. First. He slotted the ball past a helpless Unai Simon after he had embarked on a solo run, playing a lovely 1-2 with fantastic Frankie de Jong who grabbed his second assist in the process. Messi then put the tie to bed in the 72nd minute with some help from his good old friend Jordi Alba. The Catalan and Griezmann worked the ball down the left and as usual when in these positions Alba only has eyes for one man. That man duly obliged as he squeezed a firm first time shot past Unai Simon at his near post. Griezmann then scored a fifth later on but it was ruled out correctly for offside. 4-0 is how the match ended. Cue the confetti. Let's now get into my negatives and positives. There were pretty much no negatives in this one, Barcelona never looked like anything other than in control of this encounter, therefore I will move on to my positives which were, first and foremost, the aforementioned control on the game. I went back and rewatched the final we lost to Bilbao in January in preparation for this match and one thing that stood out for me 
was the lack of control from Barcelona. All throughout the game and especially after we went 2-1 up, needing only to see out the final 12 or so minutes in order to win. We never succeeded in doing that then and it ultimately cost us the game. Last night though was completely different as from start to finish Barcelona had total control and it's something that we have often lacked in big moments lately so I hope that this carries on going forward. My next positive was the setup and tactics from Ronnie K. I had my doubts when I initially saw the team sheet and the starting 11, but I was proved wrong and boy am I glad that was the case. Even players like PK who, who I wasn't sure should have started this game looked like he hadn't been away for a long time as he marshaled that backline brilliantly. So kudos to Ronald Koeman for getting his tactics spot on. My final positive was that we finally won a trophy again after almost two years. This team has been in desperate need of some silverware since that Anfield capitulation. Never mind players like Griezmann who had up to this point never won a domestic title. But this win could provide the team with the sort of confidence boost it needs going into the final eight games of the league campaign with the La Liga title race very much on a nice age. Anywho, I now have the unenviable task of picking a man of the match. Now, last night's victory was greatly facilitated by virtuoso performances by quite a few individuals. There was Jordi Alba who grabbed two assists, there was Frankie de Jong who also grabbed two assists and scored, and there was Messi who scored two goals, and like I pointed out earlier, there was Ronald Koeman who was pulling the strings from the bench. After much blood, sweat and tears, I could only narrow my man of the match list down to two. They were, I felt, the two players that really took control of the game in that second half and they are for me equally deserving to be man of the match and those two were Lionel Messi and Frankie de Jong. Fun fact, Messi is now the footballer with the most goals scored in finals. Well, that does it for my match review. Ladies and gentlemen, what were your thoughts on the match? Who was your man of the match? Feel free to leave those in the comment section and just thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and for Sabasa.